Hey too. Uh, video three. Um, just wanted to give you some more heads ups on the Bamboo Labs as I again learn more about them. Um, and so I've just had a couple prints I wanted to show you. So my granddaughter, uh, I had a daughter very young, I was only 17. And so I have two grandkids right now. So they were here Christmas and um, my grandson's into Five Nights at Freddy's. I had no idea what that is. It's like a video game, it's a bunch of things. Um, but it's kind of scary. You can't really get these online, like Amazon or anything like that. And the ones that you can get don't look like the real characters. Um, they're stupid looking, so he didn't want any of those. So he asked me, once they knew that I had 3D printers, if I could, you know, print him a Freddy, is this guy. <clears throat> and my granddaughter wanted a flower. So I printed those up, um, and he was green, and I printed that in gold. <clears throat> um, and, and for him, I tried to print him, this was after Christmas, with the Enders, four times. Every single one of them failed. Didn't matter how I adjusted things, from tree supports to the best supports to whatever, it just kept failing. And what you get is like, I call it Don King's, Don King's hairdo all over the place. Just filament just everywhere. Um, so, so frustrating, I just gave up. <clears throat> and I kind of forgot about it that he, uh, you know, they both requested these. So then when I got the Bamboo Labs, I'm like, oh wow, let me try and print uh, this out for him. Very first try, <clears throat> totally perfect. I used tree supports and it, you know, I wish I had pictures to show you. I do, they're on my phone, so I can't do it in the video, but um, I mean, he was very covered. Probably the Bamboo Lab supports are different from Enders also. They come off way easier. Um, and I'm not even exaggerating. I used to be, you know, sometimes these prints, I mean, could take 30 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour. Um, just to get all the, you know, supports off. It would literally drive me crazy. There's a bunch of settings. I also want to say, I got a comment on this video. Um, seemed like a nice guy, whatever. He was just kind of disputing um, what I had said about, you know, my last video. Uh, essentially, I was talking about this and how uh, that uh, model that I had made that stopped like, you know, quarter of the way through or whatever... Um, so just so that you do know, the bed does not stop. And I did correct myself in that video. So the bed doesn't stop heating because if it did, <clears throat> these models sit on here and if it stopped heating, it would become free. And then as soon as the, you know, the nozzle started touching it to keep printing, it would just knock it over. So the bed always stays hot. Um, and it'll always stay there. The nozzle will shut down. So the so it's not heating PLA anymore and just like leaking out all over the place. It does shut that down, but the bed heat does stay on. I figured that was the case because I've had so many issues with Enders um, because I didn't have the filament sensor. Again, he also mentioned that, which I also mentioned in my video. <clears throat> I just didn't want to waste the money on a filament sensor for both of them when I was having so many other problems with them. Um, I am going to do a video. I'm going to take one of these down and do a side-by-side -side comparison and I'll have two prints going and uh, you can see the total difference. I will have to adjust these again because both of them are <clears throat> somewhat screwed up. What I mean by that is I'll have to level the bed. I was having an issue with one of the nozzles. It wasn't allowing the filament out. You know, they give you the needles, whatever, to clean it out, stuff like that. I mean, I had so many issues with these. I don't want to go into it. I'm so glad I don't have to use them anymore. Um, I still haven't sold them. Haven't even taken pictures of them to try and sell them, whatever. I'm just trying to get like $200 for them. Uh, the guy that made mention that they were great, if you updated them and all this other stuff, whatever, I'm sure they can be better, but they're never going to be Bamboo Labs printers. He also mentioned that you can make them go really fast. I agree. You're never going to get them anywhere near as fast as these. I haven't even shown you. <clears throat> Maybe that's another video I'll do. I haven't even shown ludicrous mode. All, all you've ever seen so far is normal mode. And then there's sport mode, which is way faster. And then there's ludicrous mode. There's zero possibility that these could work like that. <clears throat> One of the reasons are, if you see this mounting system, 
and you have, you know, how it's going back and forth, and you have these two belts here. Just the way that the whole thing operates is so different. Same with the bed. Um, the Ender 3s, let me see if I can do this, make sure there's nothing in the way, because I did this before. I'm just trying to lift my uh, table out of the way so we can see. I just want to make sure nothing's going to hit over here. It did before, and I almost had a heart attack. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm just getting that out of our way. So if you see this, it's just that one bar and one belt in there. Not two belts. Um, all right, didn't hit nothing good. And just the way that these work, it's impossible. I don't care what you do to try and make it go faster. Yes, you can change the firmware, all this other stuff in it. Um, you can add all these other things. It's never going to, because the mechanics of it won't allow it. Now, maybe you can buy, if you want to keep wasting money on these things, a scenario like this that has the two bars going across, two belts. The whole thing works ridiculously fast, and you see how it slides on these. Um, just the mechanics of it. It's just not, anyway, that's why I like this table. So if you, I used to constantly have to work on the enders. So I wanted this table so I didn't have to be crouched over on my knees the whole time doing it. Um, so now they're right up at my level so I can literally just work on them. Uh, that's why I have this table. My regular desk is the same. So it rises and lowers. So I'm just going to put it back down to the normal height. <clears throat> I have my uh, palm tree in the whole print. Didn't do anything though, so that's good. <clears throat> um, so I'm just, I'm not, you know, trying to um, say anything negative about the person that made a comment because I do believe all comments are positive um, and help everybody. You know, I don't know everything about printers, so I'm not, I'm not saying that I do. So I do think some of his comments were good. So you can see first layers down and now it's going nuts. You know, there's just no way that a um, Ender 3 could do anything like that. And even if it could, it's never gonna be as good. <clears throat> um, you can see how much it shakes my table, possibly. You can see Freddy shaking. He's like dancing over there. <clears throat> Let me move him so he doesn't fall over. Uh, but <clears throat> some of the things I wanted to show you <clears throat> with these um, beds here, I also like how it tells you what it's good for. So PLA, ABS, PETG. <clears throat> so any one of these that you buy, you'll know what type of filament to use, which is great. <clears throat> It's like a metal, um, let me see what the back, sometimes they're double-sided. So it's, all, it's both the same on this one, <clears throat> but you can buy other ones. It's, it's, it's literally metal. It's trying to shake it so you can hear. <clears throat> um, and the prints come off super easy. My house, I kind of leave chilly, so I'll pull it off here. Just rest it on there a minute or less and then I just take it right off, no problem. You can see I've never scraped these beds. I've never stuck glue on them. There's absolutely no need. I'll show you the, uh, and, and it's magnetic. So it's like stuck here right now. So you just, has these spots in the back, you just slide it forward till they meet those spots and let it fall down. Perfect spot every time. <clears throat> if you look at these beds, you can tell, you know, Stuff has got stuck to them. It's still stuck to them. Um, you have to scrape it all off. I did buy these after the fact. They're not glass, so you can see, but they're like they're like rubber. So you can, they're really flexible, unlike the one that I just showed you um, for the bamboo. And I mean, you can see sometimes you can't even get it off, even scraping or whatever. They just they're miserable machines, honestly. Uh, let's try to get that back on. And, um, uh, bear with me. 
so one of the things I wanted to say because of the design of these bed tops, if you look at the bottom of this flower, you see how it's, you know, got this kind of like, let's see if I can get closer. There you go. Which looks like a finished thing. It's really nice. Um, and the density of these, the strength of everything that you print is unbelievably stronger with them with the ender. I don't know how, I haven't researched it yet, but I'm, I'm almost positive because I've been dealing with the ender so long that it has to do with the layers, how the layers are being put down. Yes, you can change the layer design or pattern or everything with the enders. Um, I mean, look at that plant shaking. So when they get going, they're going. And like I said, that's just normal mode. Um, but something with the how the layers go down. And it's really simple, too. So, like, if you look here, here's your software. And I'm trying to hold the phone while I do it. So, you know, prepare. Highlight it up here. So I'm just going to hit that. And this is what I'm printing right now. I'm printing that for my daughter. I can turn it so we can see. Um, it's just St. Jude. And there's all these adjustments you can make. I'm not using any support for this because um, it doesn't need it. And it's just same adjustments with, now it's their own software, which is great. Where with the Enders, I used to have to use um, Cura. I don't know if that's the same for everybody, but that's what I was using, Cura, to slice it and the whole thing. Uh, I like Bamboo Labs' um, own software. I think it's spectacular. And like I said, the prints come out great. So this was just all green. And once I took all the supports off and everything, I painted them brown. Uh, if, you, if you look up, you could Google Five Nights at Freddy's. It's pretty funny. Um, I got him a game for Christmas and actually for his birthday. And um, so basically he's like a teddy bear, but he's all, they're all robots. So you can see how... I just hand painted this after I did the brown um, and they're scary and that's why they're not readily available in the stores and I added blood to them and whatever I painted the whole thing up and uh, can't wait to give it give it to him I'm gonna give it to him tomorrow um, and like I said my granddaughter wanted a flower and uh, I found this one I love that it had a heart inside and it's very durable very strong you could probably throw this through the window no problem where and it's the same PLA that I always use. Um, and everything I've ever made, unless you go with the most dense infill, it, it's never like that. <clears throat> um, and even if you went with the most dense infill, let's talk about tripling the amount of time it would take from normal time that's already slow. Like just to print that flower out, it'd probably be still printing. And I started it yesterday. I'm not even exaggerating. And that, that was done, I think it took four and a half hours, literally. No supports, um, flawless. So um, another thing I wanted to say is, so like Bamboo Labs, you can buy this thing called an AMS. It goes on the top. I think it's like another $350 or $300. And what it does is you can have filaments stacked in a row. And you change the way the filament goes in. I'm going to show you that in a second. So you can print numerous colors and it'll do it all for you. Um, whatever you're going to print, if it has different colors in it, it will change it as it goes. Now, how it works, another thing that's great <clears throat> is, let me do it on the one that's not going back and forth. If you see this section right here, so this is a piece of gunk, basically, that it swiped off of itself. So b between prints or whatever, or before it starts, it does a bunch of things. One of them is push out any filament that's still stuck in here. So you don't have the issues I had constantly with the, uh, <clears throat> with the enders. And what happens is there's this little thing right here. Let me try and zoom in a little closer. That thing right here, right there, it goes back and forth over that to kick off this stuff. And then it falls in here. They call, it, they call it the poop chute, and it would just fall on the floor. 
but I printed these out. So it just gets mounted to the back. Let me zoom out a little. Just gets mounted to the back with their own screw. Uh, and, you can, and there's numerous ones on there. And I just made this ramp and it just slides and falls in here. And, and you know, whenever it's full or whatever, just throw it in the trash. Um, I did have to raise it up. I put these little rubber things on the bottom because when I added the feet, now this thing is adjustable, so you can go up and down with it, um, but it still wouldn't meet it. So I had to add those little feet. And the only reason is because I added these feet. So I also, the original one stops about here. So what I did is I, I made it larger. Um, I could have even made it even larger. I should have actually, um, but it's hard to tell how tall you need to make things. So I just, I mean, and this thing printed out probably in 20 minutes, like, like nothing. Printed both pieces same time, done, 20 minutes. So I did one for both <clears throat> because I did the feet on both and because both, what I have noticed, because these shake so much, you see how it's kind of like further back right now? Um, everything kind of like moves around. So I can get double-sided sticky tape and just stick them there. <clears throat> um, but it's, again, it's a work in progress. So, but they do work, you know, like I said, Every time it's going <clears throat> going to start over, down in that section there, it's going to go back and forth. And then there's another piece of plastic. Well, it's kind of hard to see here, but that black... Let me zoom in. <clears throat> that black piece of plastic right there, as it slides back and forth, the piece of black cuts off the filament. So then it falls in what they call the poop chute. <clears throat> Which is funny because some people have made toilets down here. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, to catch, you know, the filament that it purges. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, again, guys, that's pretty much, uh, as I keep, you know, learning more and more about these, I'm going to keep making videos. Uh, I'm going to go over the software better with you. Um, I am going to do a comparison with the Ender. Again, as that gentleman mentioned, yes, you can upgrade it and do all these other things or whatever, but by the time you're done upgrading this, it's still not going to be these. It's not, it's not even going to be close. And the amount of effort still that you're going to put into it, it's just not worth it. And again, I don't work for Bamboo. I don't work for Ender 3. Um, I just, again, like making videos that hopefully help people save you money, save you time, and get something that actually works. If you look at uh, my other videos, if you've subscribed, hopefully you do, um, you can see that's basically all my channel is about, is just helping people. And I've had over a million views already, like 1.1 million views. Um, and you know, people seem to like the videos and just to help. Um, I did show in the video, my last video, like my mantle and stuff like that. If anybody was wondering what the black is with magnets in front of my fireplace, I made a video on that. So that's just a fireplace blanket to help keep the cold air from coming in and the heat in your house from going out. If you're interested in that sort of thing, um, I have a video on there, tells you all about it, where I had it made, so on and so forth. But I think this video is long enough, guys. If you would like to see me make any other videos, if you'd like me to see me do some, the different modes, because again, this is normal, uh, I can do, uh, what do you call it, sport mode is next, and then ludicrous mode. I haven't even seen ludicrous mode yet, so I'm interested to see how fast it might shake this whole table right through the wall. I mean, these things are ridiculous to me. Um, so that's all I got, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, I'm going to add my ins yeah, Instagram to um, the description. I keep forgetting to do that. So if you guys want to reach out to me there as well, if you have any actual questions or whatnot, uh, we can communicate through there as well. But uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks, YouTube.